His name is Shannon Love. His nickname, and it is just a nickname, is the Sea Pimp. Because he, uh, well, put the hat on for a second, Shannon. I want to see the hat again. That's, man, you see this guy every time the Seahawks play at home. He's one of those guys you see on television. And now Spike, if someone they let anyone in now. Spike, He let me in. Spike the Sea Garden Gnome. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> is, uh, is now in that section, too. Uh, Shannon Love, uh, welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much for being here. And, and thank you for being, uh, you know, such a great symbol for the Seahawks. Of uh, you know support reliability. When's the last time you missed a home game? I missed a game uh, a year or so ago when I was in the hospital, and I it was I think my fifth surgery, and uh, in a short time. But I had to miss that game, and it was very <laughs> it wasn't it, fun. It painful for you, yeah. It, it exactly was, and, and and the year before that, I was going to miss a game, um, but they carried me on a wheelchair to get there. But the time I did miss, Big Low, as you might know, uh, he did a full life poster. Of you. Of me and stuck it in my seat. Had a cardboard <laughs> cutout. Perfect. <laughs> and so nobody took my front row seat. Right. Mm. And now, the poster. One of the things people may not know uh, about Shannon is that he travels uh, uh, often. I, I How often do you go to out-of-town games? Uh, two or three times a year. And I've been trying to do that more. I have more time now to do so. And now I have a bigger collection of people to go hang with. Perfect. Well, uh, we're playing uh, Atlanta. Yes, the Atlanta Atlanta Falcons this week. And one of their iconic fans is on the phone with us. And she's a nice gal, by the way. She is Carolyn, the Atlanta Falcons bird lady. Yes. In Macon, Georgia. Carolyn, how you doing? I'm doing great. And you? How are you guys doing out there? All right. We met you last <laughs> year in the run-up to our playoff game. Yes. And we did the usual, you know, semi-good-natured taunting of how we were going to go in there and win. And yeah. your Atlanta Falcons knocked the Seahawks out of contention. Oh, oh yeah. It was so much fun for me. Yeah. <laughs> what ended up happening? Well, it, well it was short-lived, years. right? There wasn't much My oxygen left in their tent. Changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, things have changed. Things have changed since then. And, yeah. now, and, now those, th- and I want to put out a disclaimer already, first, right, right off the bat. Yeah. And I'm going to talk about my friend Shannon Love. You know Shannon? I'm a Shannon. Wow. <laughs> Do all of you... There's an underground I've network. I've already plucked two or three chickens. He's going to be nesting here. Oh. I've built a nest for him. He's going to be plucking here at my nest for a whole week. Bob, I'm scared. The Falcon's bird lady. <laughs> this sounds <laughs> actually God, slightly man. scary. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Do all of you end zone... Hold on a second, uh, Carol. Do all of you end zone icons kind of know each other from every city? Well, you could maybe say that, but you can also say there's a lot of fan organizations like What a Fan and, and a PUFA fan right. or, or, and, and uh, Fans Against Violence. Since this yeah. new internet era, if you will... We uh, fans are actually reaching out to each other and uh, and are becoming more of a part of the game, socially what, networked. Absolutely, yeah. it's that a new sense. level. Wow, we love each other. All right, so Carolyn, uh, this year, uh, wait, let me let me get my disclaimer out there. Oh, oh here's your rest of your disclaimer. Sorry, <laughs> my disclaimer is love is a pimp. He collects women. <laughs> he collects. Listen, we were down there in Florida, and and we we actually bogarted and busted in on a couple of bridal parties. And and he collected women. He left there. I mean, they, he he had them. I got pictures. I got proof. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I could pretend we're having a bad connection. Just give My me a gosh, safe word. My gosh, Carolyn, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying right. to live that down. Like I said, it's just a nickname. Right. Right. So, it is. It is a nickname. We we just help. We just help fulfill some some the list of a, a, a bridesmaid. We just help for, fulfill her list of things that she had to do during her bridal shower. Yeah. Well, it's what we do, and it's what yeah, we happens when we go out we in public. Mm. Now, Carolyn, she is uh, she's crazy over there in Atlanta. I mean, she. Of course, I she, am. I don't claim sanity. It's boring. Now, don't you every morning before you go, uh, you meet with the owner of the uh, Falcons so he can yeah, see I what mean, you're wearing I to have approve. My routine, now, you know. I have a whole long list of stuff. I get there like eight hours, nine hours before the game, do my pregame interviews. They have to check out my outfit. Look at that. And, wow. You know, through the tailgates and, and all this stuff. So I she's hanging, she's taking me with her that day. Right. And, and by the way, you guys, you have such a responsibility as almost uh, unofficial mascots for the yeah. team that you your day on game day starts very early. Shannon, yeah. you, you also have pregame rituals. And well, the, certainly my night starts. I, I have to bring the limo down the night before mm-hmm. to get it in my slot and I park it. And then actually then I sleep in and I show up about 830. 
but for a one o'clock game. Sh- for oh, one, yeah, that's that's, that's late. That's, that's late. late. We that's don't late. Go to bed Saturday night, Shannon. What? We don't go to bed at all Saturday night. <laughs> and I'm going to be in Atlanta for a week, Bob. Right. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but she's scaring me. But I'm loving it. All right. Well, each <laughs> uh, each team's supporters have to put on a brave face. Uh, I mean, have to say that their team is guaranteed to win that week, and I'm anxious to hear how Carolyn will uh, voice that. Go ahead, Carolyn. Well, you know, um, we're going we're gonna to win. We definitely are going to win because huh? this is the week we're going to turn things around. And see, Shannon's bringing the luck to me this year. I, I am. He, he doesn't know, but he's bringing the luck in here. See, I've ground up some chicken bones, and, and I'm going to hang a foot around his neck and do all this voodoo stuff. Oh my God. She might not be the friendly bird lady <laughs> no. I was imagining. <laughs> she told me she's a southern girl, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a voodoo girl. Whatever I can, because, see, that's why I sent some pictures to Luciana, because as you can see, I'm doing my part every week. If you've noticed, you know, I've, I've been on television every week, and as you can see, I'm doing my part. I'm cute. I'm showing up. I'm making the crowds <laughs> laugh. I'm dancing. I'm doing my part. So now, your lady, offense is making the you crowd know, laugh. Yeah. You're always doing your part. And I'm la- always doing my part. I'm shaking my tail feathers and, and everything I need to do. Last year when we talked to you before the big game, Atlanta was having a hard time even selling that game out. What's the crowd like there now that the team is losing so many? We're still packing the place out. But, you know, I tell you, Falcon fans, I, I, you know, I, I got to talk about my fan base because we are some fickle people. You know, they they third quarter or so they'll get up and they'll start leaving out of there. And I, I love my fans, I love my Falcons, but Falcon fans are fickle folks, and they'll they'll get up, they jump on and off the bandwagon like anybody I've ever seen in my life. You know, so we we got those fickle fan base there here in Atlanta, and I try my best to change them. But Burley is going to be there. I, I remember seasons. You know, when I had a whole section to by myself, I remember back when we win three games a season, and one game in particular, I remember I had the whole section, and I had the whole front the entire row, section. and I remember they had the cameras on me, All and done I up like birds. from one end of the section to the other for an entire quarter, just from one row to the other, and I just danced the entire game, and I just had a ball. You know, I just entertained the guys, so... I'm going to be there regardless. So if the fans don't want to hang with me, you know, exit to the left and to the right and to the rear. That's it. Bye <laughs> bye. I'll and, be there. And Shannon goes in there under your protection. There, you're That's not going to. He's there with me. He's no, there. wait a minute. Are you I really going to be? Sh- are, are you really going to be sitting with her so we? No, can see she you? shipped me off with someone else, and she actually has these uh, people who will give her a shout outs, and she goes to all these different seat locations. So right. she's continually and constantly he's on the move. With I told him he better be working out on a treadmill because, you know, oh, I'm right. oh, it, it's a, it, by the way, it's a new thing I see at away games that some of the super fans go and then they get a lot of television time. So the cameras have to know where to find you. They'll find you. Well, I'll tell Sunday. you what, I was in Arizona, uh, you know, uh, two, three games and I just kind of gave up. I was in the front row and then they, the camera guys that come by and they go, oh, not you, not you. Ah. Now, last week or so, I was in Arizona. And there's just a crazy amount of 12th man, because that's the newest craze, is the 12th man out of town, away games. It's taking over like wildfire. And it was nuts. Now there, that was a story. They they have the events that people to come and get me. You know, like uh, yesterday, today's Tuesday, Sunday in Carolina, I got to know NFL Network wants you down front. Well, you know, I have front row seats. So, you know, I I pretty much stayed in my seat Sunday. But um, you know they came, they come, they come and get me. So, but I have a note to tell me where to be when. But for away games, I try to sort of stay in my seat. Yeah, right. not much reason to get out of your right. seat last week. No Carol- <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, we'll look forward to seeing you someday here in Seattle. Carolyn, the Atlanta Falcons bird lady in Macon, Georgia. All the best to you, Carolyn. Except for right, you know, I got to do it, Bob. Before except I go. for the miserable loss. But we'll this see is you the soon, time that you earn your your fan superstardom. Yes, uh, Pedro. But she has to do something before I she goes. Do yep, before there you go. go. She have to do. Who did? That's her call. <laughs> One more time, please, in the clear for Pedro. One more time. Thank you very much. All right. Obama. <laughs> Perfect. All right, bird lady, take care. Yippee-doo. Yippee-doo. Now, you don't have a... 
You don't I, have a call. I, I don't have a call. I used to have a call when I was a younger man, but uh, it was a cheer. That's when I had a voice that would uh, peel the ceiling off the... Isn't the pimp call, get that money, bitch? <laughs> uh, <laughs> bitch, where my money? Bitch, where my money at? That's what I hear every week when I show up in my seat. Well, it's well, just a nickname. Lynn did, did that for me. He was uh, <laughs> Jeff with a handler. I, mean, I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> yeah. I don't have a handler anymore. That's a shame. Hey, see, pimp, you like good food? I love good food, and I, I'm seeing some food over yeah. there. Stand by uh, the uh, wonderful uh, chef, Chef Perry, for the Tulalip Resort Casino is right here, and uh, you'll get a sampling of some of what they're going to eat Friday and Saturday at Tulalip Casino and Resort for the taste of Tulalip.